Hi guys, this is V Santiago 113. In this video, I want to show you some tips uh, about what if you have binaries um, and it, that you need to execute, for example, external binaries. This is a question that someone was asking me in my previous tutorial for Pi installer GUI, and he was asking me how you deal with binaries. What if you have binaries and, and you need to make an executable with Python and run these binaries? So I'm going to show you a few tips on how. I do it. Um, I uh, I always do it this way, and this way it works for me. And what I do, for example, over here, let's say, you know, if you saw my previous tutorial for Py installer GUI, you know that you need to always, even after you create that executable, you still you need to have your other folders in the same directory. For example, you need to have images where they are, and if you have binaries, then you need to have another folder for the binaries, and you have the binaries in there. So anyway this is the way that you do it same when you have your source code and the same after you create executable and I'm going to make another video of explaining about advanced installing you will still need these two folders so anyway you still need this folder so now what you want to do is finding a way of from your app running this executable so I'm going to show you how I do it so for example over here I have uh, and a Windows API that I use uh, using C tapes right here and this one what it does uh, is it runs uh, it runs a executable so it can open a file and send it to a printer it, it does many things and this one is using with the library for C types I'm calling this Windows API is called shell execute and this is a shell execute API what it's going to do is it's going to go inside this binaries folder that I have over here it's going to find this binary which is also in here and it's going to execute it well now it's going to execute it with no parameters in the current working directory and 10 it means it's going to open as a default like for example if you have like a 3 it's going to open it in, in full screen mode so just run it as it is as default and I'm going to show you an example right now like execute, you click execute, it's going to go in the binaries folder, it's uh, going to execute this this file. For example, this is the that, that, uh, program that I have there, it says I am a binary application, if you click me. And like, you can also run it from here, this is the same thing, it's an external executable. And you're running that external executable from inside Python. This is useful, like this shell execute is useful if you want to run commands on the operating system, if you want to send files to the printer easily using a shell execute and now another uh, way that you, know, that you can do this is running internal op the operating system internal uh, programs like the command prompt for example now the command prompt is a little bit different because with a command prompt for that to work because it won't return any any uh, error codes unless you use another Windows API uh, that it's called like uh, return error or something I don't remember exactly at what at this time but for example if you go to cmd forward last question mark you're going to see the parameters that you need before you run another parameter to the command prompt and the one that I'm using here is forward slash k which means which means carry out the command specified by string but remains this means it's going to open the command prompt and it's going to remain open even after you finish what you told it to or you can also tell it to run the, the parameter and, and, and it close immediately the command prompt in this case I want it to stay open so what I do is I, I tell it to ok run the command prompt make sure it stays open and then run the, the, the command that I want which in this case is the IP config now if you don't uh, for the command prompt is you don't select this parameter the first one which is a parameter for the command prompt this won't give you any error it just won't work make sure you have this uh, command over here this first parameter and then fa pass whatever command you want as another parameter for example if I click on run CMD it's going to open the, co open the command prompt and it's going to run the IP config parameter here or command and this is another way to open uh, other external binaries just remember you are always gonna have the binaries uh, you can have the binaries any any place you want 
as far as you told the program where it is. For example, if the binary is on a, in a C drive, this is what you want to do. Tell it is on a C drive, folder called binaries, and the name of the executable is testbinary.exe. And then no parameters, and it open on the default window, which is whatever default size it is to, it, it, it always open. So another thing you notice here is that I'm running this shell execute A. A is for ASCII. Now, uh, this DK inter does not support the Unicode. This is Python 2.7. Python 3 supports Unicode. So probably if you run this on a Python 3, DK inter, you might have to use W. W is for Unicode. Now I'm going to show you another example here. Here is another program that I that I wrote, which is almost done, just a few other things that I have to do. Now this one used the W for Unicode to run a, a, a notepad and pass the information for the file. So this is this pass everything that is inside a file right to notepad. So you can edit it. So why you use Unicode is because this is on that net. This is called this is a real nice program called Sharp Develop. This is like Visual Studio but this is an open source project which support Visual Basic, uh, C Sharp, C++, Python um, this is pretty nice um, so this is everything for now I hope you enjoyed the video remember to like, share and subscribe because I'm putting more videos including advanced installer and also I'm going to be showing you how to update the programs for example let me show you here real quick um, here this is what you will see right now. It needs to be an update to version 1.2 from version 1. You click no. You can also check for updates. And if it needs an update, you click OK. And then you click yes. And it's going to take you to download your update and update your application. So this is everything for now, guys. So hope you subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye.